South Africans have been locked down for 150 days, and it's been a long time. We go back to the beginning to where it all started. Ready? Go. The National Coronavirus Command Council has decided to enforce a nationwide lockdown for 21 days. South Africans were ordered to stay at home for three weeks, and some weren't happy about the decision. We are here to support our children. So by that shutdown, we're going to die before this virus. Alcohol and tobacco sales were banned. Saliva on the paper and then so on. The sale of tobacco is not allowed. The country's usually bustling roads were deserted and 74,000 troops took to the streets to enforce the laws. Thousands were arrested for not complying with the lockdown. One of those people was a woman for selling acha. Two weeks dragged by and with one week left to go of the lockdown, the president said he wanted to see us in his office. The National Coronavirus Command Council has decided to extend the nationwide lockdown by a further two weeks. Doctors said trauma wards were largely empty thanks to the ban on alcohol. Currently for the night we've only had two trauma patients and we only have 14 patients waiting to be seen. So I think it's a good night. South Africa joins the vaccine race. We have decided to start this test in 500 healthcare workers in a big hospital in Cape Town to protect from respiratory tract infections that are caused by a virus and the first eight South Africans receive a COVID-19 trial vaccine. I want to help the country. Yes, then they can make sure that the vaccine is really and it's way proper. But now the extended lockdown was taking its toll on the most vulnerable in South Africa. The lockdown is said too much. Poverty actually is not going to be able to get out of the way. These Lesotho nationals were unable to cross the border back into their country, so they were stranded in South Africa with no work and money. But before things got too bad, the national coronavirus alert level will be lowered from level 5 to level 4. So I'll first day back to work, a little bit anxious, a little bit excited, a little bit nervous, but uh, just happy to be back at work. It is exciting, if that is the feeling. It's strange, there's a lot of people, a lot of feet, but it's exciting. Entrepreneurs were now also creating jobs and helping those who needed it. Initially we had four wheelbarrows, and then by the end of the day we had about 27 wheelbarrows. One of the reasons that uh, led us to start the cloudy deliveries is because we wanted to cater for people who do not like to go outside or to overcrowded areas. It's like I would never have thought, like during COVID, I've employed 40 people. Like, that's me, one person. Even strip clubs were beginning to operate in new ways. However, the ongoing cigarette ban and job losses pushed people to desperation and the black market soared. I guess we're selling cigarettes. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing currently. The government is getting tired with cigarettes, so it's getting tougher and tougher. So it's a risky. That's Tyverson Red. That's Tyverson Red. 251 package. Illicit trades also hit the country's borders, with thousands of Zimbabweans desperate for food from South Africa cut down fences to get food back to their families. The situation in Zimbabwe is very bad. It's really bad because these people they are even buying sugar over here. I even buy meal and meal, chicken, you see, for their kids to survive. The fence definitely has been cut a lot more. They're moving daily up and down from Messina. Prisoners were being released. Approximately 19,000 inmates across the country will qualify for this consideration by the parole boards. And people were just getting sick of it. He's not God. But on May 24th, two months since the lockdown began, Ramaphosa announced a further relaxation of lockdown alert levels, including the sale of alcohol. The alert level for the whole country should be lowered from level 4 to level 3. 
I'm very excited about this because I have been buying an expensive beer. But now I'm here just to buy my beer and go home and sleep like a baby. Some learners could return to school. Schools will reopen on the 1st of June. We will start with grade 7s and 12. But cigarette sales were still not allowed. We must continue as we are when it comes to cigarettes that we should not open up the sale of products. Right now, that's why I'm going to buy that side in Mustang because they sell cigarettes over there, but around here you can't get cigarettes right now. This is actually a stress reliever. How are you going to cope now? In order to help South Africa's healthcare facilities, the New Development Bank loaned South Africa 19 billion rand. Two weeks after the relaxing of lockdown rules, Ramaphosa went even further. The cabinet has decided to ease restrictions on certain other economic activities. Restaurants and hairdressers were now allowed to return to work. Even the health minister, Zweli Mikize, went for a ride on a new motorcycle in the Eastern Cape. But over the month of June, COVID-19 related deaths more than tripled. It seemed it was only a matter of time before Ramaphosa wanted to see us in his office again. We've now decided that the sale, the dispensing and the distribution of alcohol will be suspended with immediate effect. A curfew will be put in place. The new curfew and alcohol ban hit restaurants the hardest, resulting in protests. We have like 147 jobs right here, so that's that's not just 147 people, it's 147 families. So yeah, without that, we're dead. For the moment, I'm sorry to say, out of work. Keeping food on the table and the roof over our heads is basically the most important thing. Strikes and land invasions sprang up around the country. And the hits just kept coming. Cabinet has decided today that all public schools should take a break for the next four weeks. The ongoing school closures meant feeding schemes had been suspended for months. And a lot of the children, especially the smaller ones, the toddlers and so on, they rely on the schools for feeding. That's, in a lot of the cases, that's the only main meal that they have. We'll be seeing an enormous increase in malnourished children. Government corruption allegations also began surfacing. We are determined that every instance of alleged corruption must be thoroughly investigated. Gauteng Health MEC Bandile Masuku and Presidential Spokesperson Kusela Deko both take a leave of absence pending investigations into corruption. And ESCOM announced we could expect load shedding for yet another year. By around about September of next year that there will be a residual risk of load shedding given where we are with our generation system. Uh, this is a risk that, that we have to manage. And of course, cigarettes were still not allowed. People getting, getting mad enough was they didn't get sad. They are used to, to smoking. To help keep it all together, South Africa is loaned 70 billion rand from the International Monetary Fund. The government are looking to increase, you know, the aid packages that are being given to South Africans is what this money is likely going to be used for. So the money does come at a cost. It's not free money. There's a lot that the government actually has to do to get itself to a place where they can pay back the money. South Africa's debt uh, by the end of the year is projected to be sitting at about 4 trillion rand or about 82% uh, of uh, GDP. However, not everything was a disaster. Contact crimes dropped by 30% and sexual assaults dropped by 39%. The statistics we will release today paint a never seen before rosy picture of peaceful South Africa experiencing a crime holiday. Eventually, August crawls in and finally we hear the president wants to see us again. Cabinet has decided to place the entire country on alert level two we can remove nearly all of the restrictions. Restaurants, bars and taverns will be permitted. Restrictions on the sale of tobacco will be lifted. The suspension of the sale of alcohol will be lifted. A ray of light is visible now on the horizon. Let us continue to exercise the greatest caution and care. 
Because you know what, watching TV, sitting home, it's not like it. So we must get something to drink and then you smoke. We are tired of uh, smoking weed. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time, South Africa. Keep safe.